at our website. We're gonna go here. We're gonna have to go into Mac OS. This is the latest one. Allow. And we're just gonna wait for the software download. I'm done. And we can just go ahead and install it. So that's the first one here. We're gonna go ahead and install this. Again, it's just like any other software. We just have to drag it, drop it into applications folder. Close this up for now. We're gonna close this up as well. And we're gonna go into our applications folder. We just have to look for that. And it's somewhere down here below. And here it is, OBS. So we can double click on it, click on open. By the way, if you're having any problems with this, just make sure you go to your system preferences and edit your privacy. So right now it does tell me to go right here. I don't have to edit this. I'm just gonna unlock this. I'm just gonna use my fingerprint for now. Depends which Mac you guys have. I'm gonna allow that for sure. I'm gonna leave it as streaming as for optimized for streaming because that's what I need. You guys can change it up to whatever you guys want. You guys could optimize for recording or even just for camera. But in this point, I'm gonna leave it as streaming. Go next, canvas resolution. This is actually okay, 1080 is okay. We can always use display as well. However, 1080 is just fine. And I think you should always go for this. First option is just fine. Next, service Twitch. Um, again, this depends on you guys and what you're gonna use. So it could be Twitch, YouTube, or anything like so. So in this case, we're gonna choose YouTube because YouTube's the best. <laughs> and right here, we're gonna see this. Your stream key, and that's about it. That's all they need. So right now, going to your YouTube channel, opening up stream, and you guys will see that streaming key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste my streaming key. It's gonna be different for every single one of you. And at this point, this down here is pretty important. Just make sure this kind of makes sense to you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it just yet. We're gonna go into next. And here we go. It's just gonna test it out. That's fine. Frames per second at 30. Well, nothing we can do about it just yet, but we're gonna apply that. And from down here, you're gonna see this plus sign. So down here, down here, below, you're gonna see add, just click on add. And what we have to look for is video capture device. So that's down here below, almost all the way down, video capture device. So usually I would change the title of this video capture device. So I'm just gonna change the name to Flint 4K P Plus. And we're just gonna go ahead to OK. Uh, the preset I do not like, but we're just gonna leave it as is for now. We're gonna go ahead and select live streaming USB device. That's exactly what we want. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm clicking on. It's my second option. You'd like to access my camera, that's fine. Although I'm not doing that just yet. And here it is. So I did plug it into my PlayStation right now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be an Xbox as well and you should be able to see your screen right away. So even before setting this up, if you guys turned on your PlayStation and went to a game such as right now, I'm in Fortnite, so let me just do something in Fortnite, such as this emote, there we go. I should be able to see it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. So at this point in time, I'm pretty much all set up. I can go ahead and start streaming, for example, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. However, I do have to end this video before I start streaming or else it's gonna get kind of weird when my viewers are actually watching this. But to start streaming, yes, it's right down here below. You're gonna see start streaming. You can go ahead and test it out for yourselves. As far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.